Welcome back guys with another PvP build for the Godo chapter on my stamp player today with two new skills from the scribing system. First one is called Vault. Fire a burst at your feet while flipping backwards 15 meters. Casting again within 4 seconds increase the cost by 33%. So basically a kind of backflip streak. It said it doesn't work properly uphills, you will be simply stuck in the air so don't even try it, but it works pretty good on every other surface. By the way, small tip, if you move forward and use the free look camera, in this case it's the mouse wheel button on PC and then use vault like this, as you can see you still do backflip but forward really helpful so you don't have to turn around and then use vault, it's way faster it still needs some improvement though if it wants to compete against the source of streak the focus scripts are not really that interesting because of the small 6 meters hit range so the best choice is probably the healing one, which I use Scales with your weapon spell damage, heats around 2 to 4k ish with this setup. Second best choice is this one with the immobilization and physical damage, but more interesting is the signature script called Crusader's Defiance. It removes up to 3 snares or roots, really helpful since I replaced Race Against Time on the setup. Another choice would be Thief's Swiftness for 15% fall damage reduction and removes the first roll dodge cost penalty. The most interesting one is the FX script here. My favorite major evasion, 20 seconds 20% AOE damage reduction, that's huge. Also interesting is Mana Expedition for extra movement speed. Minor force for crit damage or major savagery prophecy like this you could de-slot Karma Hunter for another extra skill. Overall an interesting concept for non-sorcerers a new streak kind of mobility skill. Second scribing skill is Reed Soul, which I already used on my new Magicka Sorcerer, a really strong ranged spell make sure to use the physical damage morph here which converts into a stamina ability. As signature script, there is a juicer called Anchorite's Cruelty. It's around 400 to 1k oblivion damage per second with the execute bonus. One of the strongest range spam at the moment, it consumes soul gems though, so make sure to have enough in your inventory. I don't have it yet, I've been farming since I would say 3 or 4 days on every character, really unlucky. Alternative use Druid's Resurgence, like me. It gives you 1k stamina and magicka back per cast, not that bad. Affix script, the major beach one, needed on this double bow setup. Without Elisa's, otherwise Breach will be missing. Nothing too crazy on the sets, with Retro Vitality on the front bar for the extra magic and stamina recovery, backed by Rallying Cry, Death Deals Feed is Mythic, 120s Filler, and Bloodspawn as monster set for the extra tankiness. Armor taps, 2 heavy, 1 light, and 4 medium armor, 5 would be better, but I only have heavy shoulder here, with 1 sturdy, 5 well fitted and 1 reinforced chest, fully infused on jewelry, no stamina or magicka recovery needed to be honest, the sustain is more than enough, front by a sharpened bow for the extra pen, with the flame damage enchant for the burning status effect and backed by another bow, in defending with the escapist poisons. Alternative, instead of double bow, you could use lightning stuff for the front bar, and then swap out the ultimate, which in this case is Ballista here, for Shooting Star. But I'm too lazy to farm the mage books again. It takes always ages, not really worth for me. If you already have the mage skill line at level 10, your Shooting Star with Lightning Stuff should be way better than Ballista. Quick look on the skills. Aurora Javelin, our CC. A range knockback, 8 meters with a 22 meters range. It's even unblockable. Probably the strongest range stun in this game. Really, really strong on a range plot. Portal for minor beach with the senseless effect, 3k penetration, sundering soul spamble, radiant glory instead of range oppression, gives me slightly healing during the channel and even magicka bag. Karma Hunter for major savagery and prophecy, the total percent crit rate. Ultimate Ballista, like I said before, shooting star in this case would be better. Back bar Venom Arrow for the major sorcery buff, healing vault, vigor and self heal, restoring focus, sustain and resistance buff also heals like crazy. Honor the dead, burst heal and remembrance as or shit button gives even major protection. Another choice would be Temporal Guard here for minor protection and as or shit button. Danma, my favorite hybrid race, you can use it on any stamina and magical class. Another option would be any stamina race like Org or Imperial for cross reduction or Nord if you need more resistance or Khajiit also possible for the extra crit damage. Mudo's definitely the Serpent needed for the extra stamina recovery, even with 3k stamina recovery, kinda struggling with Vault which costs over 4k stamina, Smoke Bear and the Spafford, Vamp Stage 3 you know it for the undeath passive gives us just for free extra tankiness attribute points 27 in health and 37 in stamina potion the normal tricep potion and cps then the aim 
Master Dams, Warful Strikes and do its rebuff. If you need more tankiness, swap out Warful Strikes or Master Arms for Ironclad. Recipe is pretty basic with the Stimper Suffering, Pain's Refuge, Celebrity and Slippery. Combination. First of all, make sure to pre-buff yourself with the resistance buff, Vigor and even Vault for the major evasion. Then start with Venom Arrow, Potter, Soul Twice, into Ballista, into Javelin, into Execute. That's it with another PvP build. Thanks for watching, have a nice day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. You are my lucky charm I hold you close in the night in my arms And when we open our eyes My voice fade away Cause you gave me your heart In the light of day In the light of day You are my lucky charm I hold you close in the night in my arms And when we are